Hello, this is our system on a magnetic damper and how we created a tachometer. Uh, my name is Steven. I'm Luke. And I'm Karen. The goal for our project is to design a magnetic damper that can act as a tachometer to measure the angular velocity of a rotating element by determining the angular displacement of an element driven by magnetism. The magnetic damp damper is a device that consists of a rotating element, the magnet, and an initially stationary element. <clears throat> the rotating element is a magnet that achieves rotation through a drive cable attached to a motor. Our drive cup is a aluminum cup that is placed on top of the magnet and steel cup, which does not touch the magnet. It is driven by magnetism and will have a torque from a spring acting against it. The steel is stationary around the drive cup. For our design equipment, the materials we used were a magnet, a 24 volt power supply, a breadboard, an aluminum cup, a NEMA 17 motor, a LCD display, a steel cup, a spiral spring, a 3D printed frame, an A4988 driver, a rotary encoder, ball bearings, an aluminum rod, and electrical wire. For the cup material selection, the two materials that were chosen as cups were aluminum and steel. This is because of their ability to create a magnetic field. The aluminum was used as an inside conductive cup due to it being not ferromagnetic, which, in, which will not be attracted to the magnet. As a magnet that is attached to the motor shaft rotates, the aluminum cup will oppose its motion due to the eddy currents induced in the metal by the magnetic field. This opposition will allow the aluminum cup to rotate without being attracted to the magnet. However, the attraction between the magnet and the steel is negated due to the opposing magnetic field induced by the aluminum cup. The combination of the steel, aluminum, and rotating element is able to create a rotating magnetic field to allow the aluminum cup to rotate in the exact same direction. As the aluminum cup rotates, so will the spiral spring and the dial. This is how we convert magnetic, mechanical energy to electrical energy. The steel can be seen as a stator for the system. Um, as for the power to the system, well, the system will be powered by a 24 volt plug, which will give power to our motor. The motor will be a NEMA 17 stepper motor, which will be controlled by an Arduino to have a variable input. Our motor will be able to reach speeds of 3000 RPM with the load and can reach a maximum voltage of 24 volts. Our tachometer will be operating between zero and 1000 RPM. And since it is, uh, since we do have a variable input, we'll be able to hand calculate our RPM by counting the steps that occur in a minute by looking at our code from the Arduino and dividing these steps, dividing by the steps per revolution. The A4988 stepper motor driver will drive our stepper motor. As for the dimensions of our cups and magnets, um, our motor will connect to a 3D print shaft that will rotate at a certain RPM. This shaft will have a bar magnet attached on the other end and the bar magnet will cause a magnetic field that will turn the aluminum cup. The measurements were mostly chosen based on the accessibility of the materials. For our steel cup, uh, we have an outer diameter of 2.2 inches, an inner diameter of 2 inches, and a height of 1.5 inches. The aluminum cup, since it will go in the inside of the steel cup, will need to be a little bit smaller. Our outer diameter is 1.9 inches, the inner is 1.65, and our height is 1.5 inches. And the magnet will go inside the aluminum cup, so the length of it will be shorter to in order to fit into the aluminum cup. So it'll be 1.5 inches with a width of half an inch and a thickness of half an inch. So the aluminum cup, um, after it's being rotated, it will have a, um, a shaft connected to it, a separate shaft from the shaft that's connected to the magnet. And that shaft will, um, will rotate when the aluminum cup rotates. And um, this will create a torque 
and that torque will be limited by this spiral spring. And, um, and it'll limit how much the shaft will rotate. The rotation in the shaft will continue until the shaft torque equalizes with the spring's torque. This is to stop the dial for angular displacement from rotating forever. And we will be defining a relationship between the rotational velocity of the motor and the angular displacement of the dial that is connected to the aluminum cup. So shown from the equation on the right, we'll we will be able to plug in x, which is our rotational velocity, to solve for our y, which is our angular displacement. And b can be solved for linear fitting. And our input x will be between one, 0 to 1,000 RPM and uh, will be every 100 RPM. So there will be a total of 11 trials. Uh, this, in order to measure the angular displacement, uh, at the end of the shaft, a incremental rotary encoder with 600 pulses is, is attached to measure the um, the how how much it turns. When the shaft torque and spring torque equalize against each other, the final angular displacement is found. The rotary encoder will be controlled with Arduino, and the result will be shown on, on a LCD display. It has a resolution of 0.6 degrees. In order to compile data, we will be using Arduino as our microcontroller, which will control an LCD display, a rotary encoder, a stepper motor slash driver. Um, it will compile data points for the angular displacement when the spring torque is equal to the torque from the rota rotating um, aluminum cup. The rotary encoder will read a pulse number, which will be multiplied by three 360 and divided by 600 to get angular displacement. The spring going against the shaft will cause the dial to vibrate at the end measurement. We can combat this by creating a statement in Arduino. When the dial starts to move backwards, it will take the next 100 measurements and average them out. As well, there are bearings to keep the shaft along one axis. This is the cost for our total system. It comes out to $107 if you were to start from scratch. Um, this is, these are conservative values for the most part, and uh, this system would not cost us $107 to build at this moment because most of these items are, are already currently owned by us, and so it would be significantly less than $107 to build. Um, how can we improve this tachometer? Uh, a rotary encoder with better resolution would help for the accuracy of the angle. As well, we can run trials for this. Um, running trials would help uh, define the best dimensions for the materials and the distance apart from the cups and the magnets uh, that it needs to be. Um, with more trials, we can change the spring to have a torque that would better fit for the system. Um, uh, running trials would also be able to combat, uh, would help us figure out a way to combat uh, the system's vibration um, from the spring. And uh, to help develop our theory in um, our system. Um, these are the references that were used. And um, that's it, thank you.